going on guys so today I am going to be doing this month of nail polish combined with monthly favorites um, this is for the month of September and I'm just going to jump right into it the first nail polish color I used was this tickled pink by wet n wild shine these are the 99 cent ones this one Black these ones don't have the greatest formula to me I have to use like three coats um, but I still really like the color Next I used this color from Simple Colors and it's called Soulmate. Um, it's a really a pinky color but in the picture it looks kind of orange and that's because I just took the swatch picture I made. The next color I used is Spitfire also by Simple Colors. This is their Shin Sinful Shine one with gel tech technology. Um, it's just supposed to be really gel like finish. Um, this one I did do a design for just using plain white and black with flowers. Next another Simple Colors uh, color. This one is called Coral, and it's just a plain coral color, no shimmer, no nothing. Um, these simple coats are really good, two coats, and the color is perfect. Next, I use this julep color. I used to have a uh, julep made in box, I don't even have one anymore. But this color is called May, and it's like a uh, well, it is a satin finish, but the color is like a purple grayish color. I just like it for fall, and I, I like the color period. It's very pretty. Next, I just wanted to do a bright color, and I chose this yellow, and I did some design with some pink and some black and white uh, for the nail design. Anyway, I just wanted to do a bright color to end off summer and to come to fall. Next, I used this Pure Ice, and this, um, I think this line is exclusive to Walmart, yes, and it's called, this color is called Absolutely Marvelous. Small color with a lot of purple in it, and it has no shimmer in it at all. Next I was feeling some pink so I used this Feel the Breeze by China Glaze. This is um, one of their summer colors. I don't think it's limited edition. I think it's a permanent color in their line. Next I used this purple called Pansy Schmanzy. This is from the Flower Cosmetics. This is the line that's sold in Target and it is made by Drew Barrymore. I really like the formula of this polish and I definitely want to pick up some more. Next I did this Nail Teeny color in caviar cocktail and this was in I did a may um I did a manicure video and this is the color that I use I don't have a swatch picture of it but I'll link the video down below if you want to see how it looks um and I got this in an ipsy box like a while ago next I did another sinful colors and this is called amethyst this is just a cream purple very plain did a pretty plain manicure with it and I added a light lighter purple on one of the nails but that was it for this manicure Lastly, I used three colors from the new Wet n Wild collection. Um, I'll just show you them all together because I just really, I just swatched them. I just painted my nails and then took them right off. Um, this is Eco Dark. It's a dark blue. Um, this is Distress to Impress. This is like a taupey color with um, like green undertones. And this is a So Berry on Trend. So it's like a maroon berry color. I really like these uh, polishes. They dry matte, semi-matte, um, and it's a really they're really nice the formula as well. So that's it for my nail polishes, and I just want to show you a few of my favorites for the month of September. First favorite I'm going to show you are these brushes. These are by Coastal Scents, and I purchased these when I purchased my um, Hot Pot for my electric palette that I put together myself. They are supposed to, well this white one is supposed to be comparable to a Sigma brush I believe. And this is this the black one, it's like a cheaper version of this one. Here uh, they're both very fluffy and they do a great job at blending out your eyeshadow. Definitely check them out, pick them, definitely check them out and pick them up if you can. This one is $4.99 and this one is $2.99 or $2.95, $4.95 and $2.95. Um, so they're very reasonably priced and uh, the difference is the type of bristles they have. Anyway, my next favorite are these new Maybelline matte lipsticks. Um, I have a video on these. I picked up another one which is, is not in the video and that one is called Lust for Blush and it's just another pinky uh, nude color. But these are, these are very, very nice formula, great pigmentation and great lasting power as well. Another thing that I've been loving and I'm almost out is this NYX matte finish uh, finishing spray. It's matte finish finishing spray. Um, and I've been using this in another way other than just spraying my face like when I finish by setting my makeup. I've also been using this to put on my foundation. So I literally spray my brush and you know just shake it out a little bit to get drips off. And then I buff in my foundation doing it that way. It 
Art gives my foundation an already lived in type of look and it also shears my foundation out a bit and gives my face my look a more natural finish. And my last favorite is this mascara and it's by Revlon. This is the last ocean one. Um, and this is what the brush looks like. Um, I like this mascara just because I like the formula. I'm not a fan of the brush at all, but I really do like the formula of the mascara. So that wraps it up for my this month in the polish and my monthly favorites for the month of September. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. They were requested in a previous video um, by one of my subjects. And I just wanted to deliver. I really haven't bought anything lately. Um, new stuff, so my favorites are kind of, you know, minimal, but I wanted to give you something. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share the video for me. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.